Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder Channel. I'm here with Daniel Cox, who's got a tricky little roof on the go here. Now, what's going on here, Dan? We've got an oblique end on this roof, Rog. So basically, we've got three metres at the front and two metres at the back, because we're following the boundary line. OK, so the so, boundary line's like that, so the roof is going to be on the squint, yeah? Basically, yes. So what's the problem? We've got different length hips, and you've just got some different cuts from a, a conventional hipped roof. So this isn't a bastard hip then? It's not a bastard because we've got 38 degrees on this end and we've got 38 degrees front and back. So all the pitches are the same. It's just we've got different angles around here where we've got the bigger yeah. at the front and taller at the back. Okay, so what you've basically got as you're going in, the rafters are, get, rafters are getting shorter, aren't they? Again, Along this way. They're getting shorter, but we've also got different angles. So we've got seven degrees different pitch here. Yeah. So normally you do it at 45. Yeah. But at the front, we've got 48 and a half, we're doing them either side, and this side we're doing them... It's already beginning to hurt my head. Are you going <laughs> to have to physically measure each one of these We still rafters? measure it, it's exactly the same principle as an ordinary hip. So they're all jacks, basically. They're all jacks, there, but yeah. it's, instead of doing it at 45, we're going to do, it's three and a half degrees different to either side, because it's a seven degree difference. Yeah. And we can work out, we'll show you all these, uh, like the end common, it's going to square off this plate so it's gaining at a slightly different angle. So what we've done here, we just mocked this hip up because this is a different pitch than normal. On a conventional uh, 38 degree pitch roof, that hip would run in at 29 degrees, but this one's actually running in at 30 and a half, one and a half degrees above it, and the back one is 27 and a half, one and a half degrees under it. So basically what we've done here, we've I'll put a, a rough cut on the top there, we've fixed that in, and then we've got our height above plate block, that's 120 there. So we've got this running in exactly where we want it. A little bit of cheating, I'll just put the digital level on now, and then we worked out it's 30 and a half degrees. So then we've now cut this hip at 30 and a half degrees, got the bird's mouse right, so we're just about to pull it in and hopefully it'll fit like a glove. Yep. Hey? Right, okay. I want it as hard into me as you can. That's better. Yep, yep. That's nice up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll live with that. So, normally on a roof, 90 degrees. So, we do all our hip plum cuts at 45. But this is seven degrees out of bonk. So we've got 83 degrees one end and 97. So obviously half that is 41 and a half and 48 and a half. Ah, yeah. This end's 48 and a half. So that's why we're going to use Gav's nice saw because it goes over to the 48 and a half and we can get our splay cut on the jack rafters. So now we can just, we're going to cut them all the same as a, an ordinary hip, but at 48 and a half degrees. So every single one of those on this side is going this, to be 48 This is 48 and a half. half, and the back side that we done yesterday was 41 and a half. So it's the same as a conventional hip. Our sponsor today is Harry's. Now last year my son joined the Skill Builder team and he now edits most of the videos that you see on the channel, but occasionally appears in front of the camera so he needs to have a nice, clean, close shave. Now Roger's already tried the Harry's experience, so we thought it would be a good idea to let Abe try it out this time. He's loving that foaming shave gel and the feel of that beautifully weighted five blade razor and it's got a little trimmer blade on the top that makes it easy to get to those hard to reach places. Harry's are offering a free trial set which includes this shower gel which leaves your skin smooth and conditioned and it smells gorgeous. So if you want to try this out, all you have to do is cover the $3.95 for delivery. Follow the link in the description to harrys.com forward slash skill builder. This is our end common rafter, and what we actually done, we got the ridge coming out, and we cut two, we got two rafters from there coming up, two full rafters, which was temporary to get the ridge out. Now this is the same length as what one would be if we was coming off the plate, and then we got this in, and we could get a measurement onto the ridge, but we also worked it out with some maths. This is the centre here of this big long run. Our offset is 900 mil, so it's 900 mil longer there. So you find the centre and you go half the offset. So 450 is the centre of your end common rafter. Got it. And as you can see, that is not in line. Now, if you put that in line, if you'd brought that round here and had it in line with the ridge, 
then basically when the toll buttons, they'd be sort of sitting like oh, that. Oh, of course, not, yeah, yeah. Because we've got to have it flat for your toll buttons, where if you put them in not square to that, you, you'd sort of have that scenario. But yeah, so basically, so you get halfway, so it's there, half of, that's 900, went halfway, at there, 450, and it just goes up to the angle. So I'm going to jump up there. We were saying yesterday, you have to remember all the time that where these are off square, where your natural eye goes to on the hip isn't right, you have to kind of compensate for the out squareness. Yeah, lovely. 3570. 3570. That's it. I've got one more if you want to get out that far. If I just fire these two ends off now. Plum cut 38, on it 38 degrees. Feels like we've gained 150 mil internal wall space yeah. by going timber framed. Oh, okay. Which in a small area ah. is free real estate. It's a big gain. Yeah, yeah. So, so what are the insulation that you've got to put on that timber frame upstairs then? So that's, so that's a 5 inch, 120 mil stud. So that's going to have 100 mil surtex through the stud. And then 50 mil across the back face to create vapour control. Yeah. So that's all we've got there. Obviously, because the insulation sits within the stud, mm -hmm. unlike a convention wall, you don't have brick insulation. Really? And then so you say on the back face, so that when you say that 50 mil of insulation is going on the outside? No, so 100 on mil. On the inside? It. So all that go on there now will be ply sheathing, structural ply sheathing. Yeah. With a Breathe the membrane on the outside of that, battens in the clad yeah, finish. I understand. And then 100 mil inside the stud, and then 50 mil of Certex across the stud, the back of it. Right, face on the internal yeah. side, then that's your vapour barrier. That's it, if it's taped over, they can't give me the vapour barrier. Got it, barrier. okay. But like I say, it's quite significant, because on plans, it's always been a bit, is this room viable financially with what we're going to get? But that extra bit of free space has made a huge difference. Are you where you want to be? Yep. Yeah, I'll get one in that, that pull that lot up. If I'm down there six forties. You come off the back of that last timber or the front of the timber just so I know. Um oh there. Six forty. Six forty. If we get that one in, yep. that'd even that hip up a little bit then. And we're still going off this plain shoulder, aren't we now? Yeah. yeah. Three metres and 80. That's lovely. It should be three metres and 80 as well, but it isn't. <laughs> All right. To me, to you. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. On the money, that is there. Yeah, you'd be surprised that's tightened it up, actually. Yeah, right, okay. Fill it full of lead. Oh! Is it there? That's as long as the um, a six metre label, that is. Yeah? Yeah. I've got visions of not taking that tower out in time, platting that into the room. No, it's okay. a permanent fixture in someone's bedroom. <laughs> yeah, it's not too nine, is it? Right, let's go spin it round, Gav. Get a little chop saw. Right, come through it at this angle. I've got more chance of getting where we want to wind up. Right, lovely. Right there? Yep. And 12.10. It's nice to see that all filled in there, Dan. Yeah. A lot yeah. of thought, a lot of work in that. I think it's come together quite well. Yeah. Can you go out that far? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 12.75. Oops. 
slightly twisted. There's only one spike in it, so I've yeah, got a couple in just yeah, to fire that one, please, Gav. So that's a nice clamp you got there, Dan? Yep, I just picked it up from the DNM show on Saturday. A new Bessie one, but I like it because look, you can, you can spin it round. And yeah, it's, and also, I'll tell you what, that's quite handy if it's at the height of your ghoulies, isn't it? Yeah, you just get it out of the way. Um, but the other thing is, you can actually squeeze it there as well. So it's not like you've got to have it here and squeeze it. You can squeeze it. I'll just show you. Let me loosen it off. See that. So if you have it there, like it still it still works. Yeah. It's still pulling it up. So yeah, I'm doubly impressed with that. So nice one, the Bessie. So there's another Bessie one. Yeah. Go up the collection. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Right, Gav, I think we're done. Round the front now. It's my neck now. There we go, that's another end done, so it's all complete. So I'm going to get the front bit done. So and the then... front's just conventional, yeah? No, the front's exactly the same. It's out of square, but this is it's under. This is more than square. Oh, And that okay. one's under. This is 83 degrees, it's a seven degrees difference oh, yeah, under. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see here with the square, um, we are well under there, put your finger down it. So all these cuts, we're cutting at under 45, 43 and a half, and out the back 48 and a half. So it's the same principle, just we're gonna measure them again, but 43 and a half when we lay the saw over, and then 38 degree plumb cut the main roof. Anyway, you got it, you cracked it. So yeah, we cracked it, so it's um, good to get underway Gav, isn't it? Nice job in that one, yeah. yeah. Don't forget to sign up for the Skill Builder newsletter or you'll miss out on offers, giveaways, updates and everything else going on at Skill Builder. Follow the link to skillbuilder forward slash sign up and join our growing community.